Hi, it's Peg, and it's Thursday, and that means that we did a live show on Art Joy Sharing. Chelsea and I do this each Thursday on that other channel, and today we were doing gel printing. Now, Brigitte Coopson has had a month-long challenge, and I'm going to show you some transfers that I did and some resist that I did in another video, uh, because I did some of this work after the show was over. Um, was having, I was struggling with a number of different issues. Some were technical, some were, you know, just my brain not engaging. Some days when I'm not feeling well, it just doesn't work for me. So um, today was one of those days. And so the first prompt from Forget that I worked on today on the live show was monochromatic. And that just means, you know, within the same uh, tones or uh, shades of a color. So I have this uh, gel print out. I have mixed some uh, color with some white to get different shades, tones. And um, just printing up. These small cards. Now these are small because the surface that uh, you guys see on the live show is not as large as what you're seeing in this video. So um, the view is different because on the live show you get to watch both Shell and I gel print at the same time. How fun is that? So the next prompt that I did uh, was the printing on uh, pattern paper. <laughs> the first pull was so ugly. I just oh, didn't care for that at all. So I end up covering it up by doing another print over the top of that. Um, you know, if at first you don't like something, put another coat of paint on it. So that's pretty much what I'm doing here. I'm just uh, creating more background and I'm going to put it right on top of that printed paper that I really didn't care for. And I like the print that I made with the paint much better. So now I am trying to do a transfer. Um, this is an image you see there that has a magazine image of a photograph, not a photograph. See, I can't even get my words right today. A camera and a watch. So I'm going to let that dry and I'm going to come back and try and pick it up. And it's a total disaster. Well, maybe not a total disaster, but really didn't work the way I wanted it to. And so you'll see that I did do some other uh, image transfer at another point just because I was disappointed in how that had turned out on the live show. So uh, just continuing to print, you know, you just keep on working layer after layer. And uh, I'm happy with, you know, just the regular gel prints, but um, the specialty things that we're supposed to be getting done here are not working out quite the way I want to. You can see here I'm trying to pick up that specialty print from the magazine and uh, not really what I was thinking it was going to look like. The lens on that camera just is not doing it justice. So, uh, I mean, the, the printed words down there, they turned out really nice, but yeah, the image itself, not so great. So, uh, next up was circles, I think, and I decided to do some resist work using the wax on my paper and um, creating a resist with that wax. And I didn't get an even coat on that. <laughs> you can see the spots that I missed, but okay. But you can see also on the gel plate how it resisted where the wax was. And um, 
So circles. Yeah. I have this stencil. It's, uh, I think it's I stencil, Patty Parrish, uh, line of stencils. And I really like it. I like the different, um, sizes of circles on there. So now I'm just doing a pickup of that resisted one and got my little piece of grungy paper that I created on that other plate. Continuing to pick up what's on that other plate. And yeah, we got circles. <laughs> okay, where are we going from here? So I think the next prompt was something about wax crayons. And I'm still thinking about circles and I don't know. I was looking for my um, pastels. Couldn't lay my hands on them. First thing that jumped into my hands were these Tim Holtz Distress Crayons. So I thought, well, let's give them a try. Let's just put it down through this circle stencil and add color. And now I'm putting some a layer of paint over that water soluble medium, and then I am adding a another layer of paint and kind of a grungy print. This time I'm just going to take the crayon directly to the. gel plate and then add my paint and stencil over the top of that and we'll see what we get. So I think that turned out kind of nice. Anyway, I finally locate my pastels after dropping a few things on my desk and I decided to use some black uh, text white paper and a stencil and put some color on that piece of black paper. I'm using a gold iridescent paint here to pick up with and to get a resist on the plate. And you can see I get the uh, crayon resisting the gold paint. And now I'm just going to do a pickup from the plate. They're kind of not real in your face prints, but I like them. And then I decide to get out my. Um, is it it's it's a lyra metallic pencil and do a print uh, w with that and i'm sorry i'm kind of off screen you know the the problem with doing two cameras i can't watch everything all at once and talk to the people in the chat and see what's going on and yeah wasn't really great but there I will have some final shots at the end and now I'm just playing with those uh, pastels I was thinking that these were watercolor pastel but evidently they're not so I'm gonna uh, grab some water soluble stuff and do a little bit of blending 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 and then uh, I'm gonna add some color with the stencil and the plate on the other side of this print. And then I'm going to go towards the center and get the smaller leaves. And I'll show you some more prints later. So here we go. We're using recycled now. I've got um, a cap that I dug out of the garbage uh, off my water bottle. And uh, I'm just putting those circles onto the plate using that recycled uh, cap. And then I put the wrong color down on the plate. So now I'm pulling that up because, you know, you really need to <laughs> use the paint that you got on the plate. I don't know. I keep reaching for the wrong thing. I, I put the colors on the lids of these things, but, you know, sometimes I misinterpret what it is just by pulling it and not looking at the name before I put it down. So now I'm uh, grabbing some brighter
colors and the next uh, thing I'm going to do is more circles and more recycling. I'm using my recycle cap and my circle because you can. You can combine prompts. You don't have to just do one. So I've got my small round gel print plate and I'm using that to print with Kind of like a stamp, you know, where you stamp the, the paint from one gel plate onto the other one. So, uh, gonna do a pickup here on a sheet of black. I can, I've been using this for a number of prints now. And more circles, more black paper. <laughs> more stuff and uh, yeah just continuing to play making prints with these prompts so anyway uh, check out art joy sharing it is a Facebook group and we'd love to have you there and I'll give you the final shots uh, go over and check out what shell has done I know she has a sped up version as well as the live show so thanks so much guys mm -hmm.